What's up, good people? My name is Mike. I am here on arcade.makecode.com for another MakeCode Arcade tutorial. This uh, tutorial is going to be talking about creating a scoring system for your game. I've already done it, so I need to undo all this so that I can show you how it's done. Alright, so here we've got a lovely little game. It's called Space Jam 2. Um, it is based off of the Galga tutorial, uh, but instead of spaceships, you are crying Michael Jordan and you've got to shoot basketballs at aliens to save the Earth. Cool. So, the setup now is that you go for a specific amount of time and you try not to get hit and if you get hit three times game over uh, which is cool but I would like to add a scoring system to that so I'm gonna do that is I'm going to start by going into info and I am going to go to change score by one and I'm going to add that under on sprite of kind projectile overlap can't quite see that. I'm gonna zoom in. Um, so this is the code that I set up that basically says if my projectile sprite overlaps an enemy it will destroy the enemy and then also now I'm gonna have it change my score by one. So I start again and I'm crying Michael Jordan. Alright so now you can see that up there in the top right of my emulator screen, every time I hit an enemy with a basketball, it changes my score by one. So um, that's cool. That's it's it's all built in now. Your scoring system is set up. Uh, if that's all you wanted to do, cool. You can stop there. Uh, if not, keep watching. I'm gonna go over a couple more things. So first thing you can do is obviously change this by a different number. So. Say, um, for instance, you had two types of enemies that were coming in and you wanted one to be worth more points, you could make your points go up by two for you know a bigger enemy or a boss or something like that. Um, another thing you can do is if you want the game to end when you get to a certain score, uh, you can start by making a loop that's a forever loop or you could do another on start loop that works too. Um, then you're going to throw in logic, an if-then statement. And then you're going to go back into logic and you're going to dig up this one, which is a... Um, you could do equal... The, I think these are... Yeah, these are the same, virtually. So what you can do is you can drop this in and then you can change this variable in the middle. So equal. So that's the exact same other one that was in there. I'm not sure why they have two. But um, instead of zero, you want to go back into info and you're going to say score. So now if my score is higher than let's say 3, we will say game over, win. Um, so we have to go into I think info, uh, no game, and you're going to say game over, win. So now if I'm playing and I kill 3 bad guys, once this loads, I'll show you. If I kill three bad guys, mm -hmm. why did that happen? Oh, ha, <laughs> duh. Okay, so right now I have it set at less than three. Uh, remember, uh, on these little things, I forget what they're called, but whichever way the mouth is going is the greater sign. So I need it to be facing the score is greater than three. Cool. Now it should work. Um, try to make this quick. One, two, three. All right, I've hit four. That's greater than three. Uh, and I win. Cool. So that's the way you can set up scoring system to win the game. Um, there's all kinds of other things you can do with score. Uh, you can set it as a variable, you can set high score as a variable. Yeah, um, 
play around with it. Have some fun. Try to come up with something more creative than what I've done here. Goodbye.